uh, an urban greening grant project site. Solano RCD and the City of Vacaville partnered together to write a grant about two years ago uh, and we received that grant from the Strategic Growth Council. It has to be in the middle of town. It has to have a certain density of houses and people around it. And what we've done here is we actually have some invasive species that we have controlled in the background here. It's a rundo. It grows in creeks and sort of clogs the creeks up. So we came in with the crew and treated the arundo. We're now planting this site. This is Alamo Creek right here that runs behind us. And uh, this was a, about an acre size area that for whatever reason only had two or three trees on it. We've come back in with about 30 species of native trees and shrubs. And we're having a planting day today where uh, we'll be planting those trees and shrubs. This project is helping us install this habitat restoration project across about a mile and a half of this eastern perimeter drain on a big ranch down here in the Rio Vista area. And basically, uh, this is a working landscape. This is a working ranch, and we're trying to infuse some habitat restoration into that functional landscape of agriculture that's going on down here. The riparian systems of California have been significantly reduced. We're going to try to put them back into this landscape along these working waterways. So these are ag drains, these are flood waterways, they can support the native riparian plants that is missing from the landscape over the last 150 years that we've removed significant amounts of and we're infusing that back into the landscape into places where they can coexist with agriculture. In. Ta -da. You can actually pre-irrigate and then plant the trees into the wet and then that we know we're, we're planting in the right zone because that's where it's irrigating. So that's another way to do it. And having the students come out and do it with us is, is just an extra bonus. It gives them the field experience, gets them outside and we also get a little work done. So it's great. Uh, today we have students from Benicia High School out. They're removing pampas grass that's been here for a while. It's a non-native invasive plant that's taken over this hillside. So they're coming out, they're using ropes and digging bars and pulling it out. Uh, and then we're going through and having another group of students plant red fescue on top of it. This is just one component to our larger biomonitoring program. Uh, the program actually brings students out to test the water in the local creeks to see the health of the creek. But we'd like students to also have a, a chance to do restoration work, like our, our ma major mission with the RCD is doing restoration work. We include that into our education programs. It's a great experience for the kids. Uh, they get a chance to get out and sweat and work and kind of get in touch with nature, you know, cell phones off. So we're putting in a small demonstration meadow with five different native grasses uh, with the idea that people will be able to come by here and take a look at them. Uh, native plants are wonderful and I would like more people to start using them in their yards. It brings wildlife, provides habitat, it uses less water. We learned about non-native, native, invasive means a non-native plant that takes over. This is one of our stations where we're planting uh, native shrubs. Um, down below, uh, you know, at another station we have um, a native grass plug planting where we're um, planting native grasses and wildflowers um, to restore some of the native meadow habitat that would have been in this area. This project is important because it's an investment in some precious open space in Vallejo. Uh, our partners are really great. We're working with the Greater Vallejo Recreation District, Vallejo Sanitation and Flood Control District, we're working with the city. Um, so uh, all these groups combined with the schools and uh, community groups like the Vallejo Watershed Alliance uh, really make this happen and it makes this corridor um, a real gem uh, in the middle of Vallejo. What I see at the end of the day is everyone is really tired, they've put in a lot of really good effort, but I feel like they all have a sense of doing something worthwhile. They can always come back and explore this, this public area and um, see how their hard work has, has helped uh, shape this park to be a, a better, healthier habitat.